Another reason why they say they can't kick the habit. It's tough. Scientific. Yeah. yeah. One West Tennessee girl has literally had a change of heart. As Tommy Stafford reports from Hardin County, 12-year-old Jean Ann Fowler is back home when just a few weeks ago her family and friends thought the end was near. When we left with her de December the 29th, I wondered, will she ever come back through these doors again? It's probably the greatest, greatest moment of my life come back here with our whole family to be back here again. Welcome back, Jeannie This was no ordinary Saturday in Savannah, Tennessee. All of Jeannie Ann Fowler's family and friends were anxiously awaiting her return home from a two-month stay at the University of Alabama's Medical Center. At 18 months, Jeannie Ann began having problems with her heart. By age seven, her parents knew she may one day have to have a new heart. That day came late last year. We actually went to Birmingham in August for a second opinion, and he said he, he agreed with, with the first doctor's opinion, but he said she's coping with it well, so let's just w watch her. And then we got back there uh, and had the evaluation done in the first part of December, and then we went back December the 29th and January the 31st. I mean, December the 31st, New Year's Eve, she got the heart. <laughs> and from there, the improvement has been great. This weekend, all of Jeannie Ann's family and friends rolled out the red carpet to let her know how glad they are to have their very special girl back home. Thank you for this miracle today, for Jeannie Ann and her family. We thank you for the family and for the donation of the heart. Another special person on hand Saturday was Jeannie Ann's new friend from Alabama, a transplant patient himself. He received his new heart nearly eight years ago. I don't want to talk about myself because I received a woman's heart in 1988. And I had trouble going to the mall because I'm scared I'm buying a dress or high heels. <laughs> but, but never... You can imagine uh, uh, seeing a child who is supposed to be dead by now. Walking around here like nothing was wrong with him. And Jeannie Ann is like a little rabbit. Alabama spoiled her. And now we know Tennessee is going to do it. Jeannie Ann and her entire family never dreamed when they left this driveway leading to their home late last year that they would be returning here time and time again. But now with her new heart, that has all been made possible. Not as bad as it sounds. It's not. As, as I thought it would be. When I heard about it, I was scared to death. But it really wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't fun, but it wasn't horrible like I figured it would be. And what does Jeannie Ann want to do now that she's gone through her life-changing experience? I'm thinking about maybe to work in an organ bank. I think that would be neat. Jeannie Ann still has a tough year ahead. She must make frequent visits back to Birmingham for checkups, and she will be on medication for the rest of her life to help keep her body from rejecting her new heart. But if her first day back home is any indication, she'll do just fine. In Savannah, Tennessee, Tommy Stafford, WREG News Channel 3. And Jeannie Ann stayed on the waiting list for only 12 hours before receiving her new heart. The transplanted heart came from a boy from South Carolina.